diagonal knot. Now for this knot, as with all the others, we're going to start with our collar flipped up. We're going to take this seam, which is on the back side of all ties, and for this knot, it's going to lie flat against our collar, just like this. Okay, now we're going to take the wide end of our tie, and we're going to pass it over top of the narrow end of our tie, making an X. Then we're going to want to grab the narrow end of our tie and pull it out from our shirt front just a little bit and pass the wide end of our tie underneath the narrow end. Okay, then we're going to take two fingers and we're going to place them across the narrow end of our tie. We're going to take our thumb and we're, I think I'll see, you'll see better on this side, we're going to pinch the knot just like this. That way we can pull the knot away from our chest and pass the wide end up and through this side. So we're going to take the wide end of our tie and pass it over top of our two fingers, just like this. Then we're going to take the wide end of our tie and we're going to pass it underneath, once again, underneath the whole knot. Okay, very good. Now you should be set up just like this. And this knot, this is where it gets a little awkward to, uh, to tie this knot. We're going to take the wide end and we're going to pass it down and through this gap. Okay, so we're going to pick it up here. And we're going to push it down and through the gap. And this little bit where we went down and through, that is the actual diagonal part of the diagonal knot. Okay, now you want to take the time and make sure that where it wrapped around, it's all smooth, wrinkle-free, and it hasn't turned at all. Okay, now we're going to take the wide end of our tie and we're going to give it to our two fingers that are right here. Now this is another place where you want to make sure it's really smooth and wrinkle-free and it wraps around nicely in hand and goes to your two fingers. So we're going to do that really slowly. So we're going to put the wide end right in our two fingers. I'm going to hold on to this ring and pull the wide end down. Now, you can pull it all the way down really nice and snug really quickly. I'm going to go really slowly and watch as the knot really begins to form. And you can see the diagonal shape here, and you can see where the tie is coming through here. And this knot has a tendency to want to turn. So the wide end of your tie is going to keep trying to turn around to the back side just because there's so many twists in it. So before we tighten up the entire knot and make it look really nice, what we're going to do is we're going to hold on to the narrow end and we're going to grab this edge of the wide end and we're just going to pull it over. Just pull it over. And then we're going to snug down on the knot, just like so. It's kind of a constant battle to keep it from turning around to the back side. That's what makes this knot very tricky. So once we've gotten pretty close, I'll slide it up a little bit. And if you take a few minutes dressing it and making sure there's nothing folded and everything looks nice, we're going to end up with a very cool, very interesting pattern where we have this diagonal piece that's coming up over top of our regular tie. So we're gonna, when we cinch it up, we're gonna do it the same way we always do when we cinch up a knot. And we're gonna hold on to this uh, narrow end. And we're gonna put a hand, our hand on the knot and just slide the knot up. And this is just a knot that requires constant adjustment while you're tying it. But once it's tied, it's usually pretty good. So here we are with a very trendy and different looking diagonal knot. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing how to tie that. I found it to be pretty fun and challenging.